Okay, let's uh, talk about the scope because I want to cover some things and some cover some things I want to uh, skip. So I focus only on the tailwind and uh, what we are not going to cover is creating the oxygen templates because that's uh, oxygen specific. Uh, what we want to cover is how to add a form. We are going to use the Fluent Form plugin for this, but you can use the others as well. Uh, the approach uh, will be same for all of those uh, the all of those elements that you cannot uh, access from the oxygen uh, structure also we are going to add a custom font and we are going to show you how to change the configuration of the tilewind to add uh, custom fonts and for upload we are going to use the swiss knife because that's the easiest at this point uh, but uh, in the future I will going to create uh, new tutorials that are uh, specific for uh, this one in more details. And if I go to the plugins, I can show you this one uh, you don't need. Uh, the Fluent Forms, the Oxygen, the Plane Classes. Uh, I will use that one, but uh, it's not uh, mandatory. It's just easier to write multiple classes uh, at once. Then we are going to use the the script organizer because uh, we need to expose the local website uh, and then connect it so uh, you can compile the tailwind uh, we are going to use the swiss knife and i will explain you shortly uh, why uh, then we need the wind then uh, this one you don't need this is just for me to organize the wordpress admin we are going to use the play tailwind and let me just show you why so if you for example start type uh, div and then you start using the or you want to add a class you will get all the autocompletes uh, right away and those are the tailwind autocompletes and you of course have the autocomplete in the oxygen but i just uh, find this a uh, little bit easier because you have uh, multiple edits and then you can just do like this this is just test and uh, my approach for this is to write write it here because uh, it's a little bit faster and then i can just uh, copy and i can use the swiss knife and i'm going to paste all of those and for example if you are not happy with this one let's just uh, clean it and let's uh, add or edit like this sorry so this then we add the class text color white yeah and you copy it again and you just paste it and you can see that everything works and it's much much faster than uh, just creating the oxygen uh, elements manual you can of course follow along the tutorial by just uh, doing like this you add the div then you add the h1 you put it to h2 and then this is a test you expand it uh, and you can use the plain classes to write it or add it uh, manually but uh, as you can see this approach uh, works for me just fine and I'm going to use it uh, along the tutorial so it's just uh, faster uh, thank you for watching this was uh, all about the scope and in next one we are actually going to start uh, creating the website elements subscribe to our uh, channel so you get uh, notified when the next video is live. Thank you for watching and bye.